Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today and this is a general reading that could help any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Chariot Major Arcana. So the Ace of Pentacles is it's a card of promise. It's a card of potential. It's a way of the universe uh, giving you a gentle nudge that, you know, the message to you is if you are able to be pragmatic, if you're able to work hard, take your ideas, take your physical energies and uh, work according to your plan then you're going to have the possibility of prosperity and abundance and abundance across all areas of your life personally professionally your relationships your health it's a card of happiness you know of being able to accept this coin or this pentacle and you're accepting it because you're really earning it you are taking care of your plan. You are thinking about things. You're putting in the time, the energy, the thought, the forward planning in order to be able to walk through this little portal through to the other side of abundance. And so, uh, again, it's the promise of, of having security and a strong foundation and building stability with respect to your resources, but much more than your resources, really your life, you know, your, uh, everything involving your life. You have the possibility of, of happiness, but it's related to the effort and the thinking behind it and the common sense that you put in into getting there. On a literal level, the Ace of Pentacles could suggest an unexpected windfall, as Eden Gray might write in her books from the early 1970s, the late 60s. You might have an unexpected windfall. So keep your eyes open. So then we have the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, he's here, he's just sitting on the horse. And he's holding the pentacle. It's another hand holding the pentacle. So it's a day of focus on resources. It's a day of thinking, of planning, of assessing perhaps on how you're going to develop more resources, more money, more time, however you define your resources. And again, he's willing to put in the energy the time, the effort, the hard work, the devotion to getting the job done and doing it well. So many people say that the Knight of Pentacles, he's, he may be a grunt, he may be working hard, he may not be the most exciting knight in tarot, but more than likely he'll probably have results because he's result driven and he's result focused. So whether these are attributes that you would benefit from, or this is someone within your life who's very much a hard worker, uh, maybe a tad serious, but focused on putting in the time to get to the reward. And so I'm saying so a lot tonight, I apologize. Um, we have the, the chariot with the Knight of Pentacles and with the Ace of Pentacles. And the chariot is that motion, it's movement. It's driving the chariot tier, driving the chariot with the two sphinxes down the road toward your hopes, your dreams, your goals. If your focus uh, for this week or, or Thursday or this time frame is about your finances, then it's time to um, use your smarts, use your 
mastery, get in touch with people that can help you and to, uh, you know, take charge. You have the reins in your hand and you have to also have the skill to be able to, you know, implement your plan, your, you know, what you're hoping to accomplish, what you write down on a piece of paper, that this is my goal. I'm going to work so that I can retire early, or I'm going to work X amount of time per week so that I can, uh, you know, create just more opportunities or create uh, additional income to invest or to save or to pay down debt. But there's thought behind the process of building a secure foundation. And you have to be, you have to hold those reins very firmly within your hand. And you have to navigate the challenges, the unexpected things that happen with respect to finances with respect to how we spend our time and our obligations. This chariot is about control. You have control. You have, uh, you have your eye on the end goal. It's a matter of how you're going to get there. The ace of pentacles in the universe may be saying, be pragmatic, use your common sense, you know, be practical, do things that you think that actually could work. The Knight of Pentacles says, okay, I've got this plan. Now I'm going to put in the time and the focus and the energy. I'm going to be devoted to making it happen. And then here we continue to move down the path toward realizing our goals or our hopes. The chariot indicates success. It indicates victory. In some cases, recognition for a job well done. But it's really about the control that you have over the circumstances within your life. So very interesting cards. Let's take a look at what we have for, for numbers. We have uh, seven, eight, and nine. Nine is nearing completion. Nine is about spirituality, idealism some wisdom. And then finally, let's choose an affirmation for the day. Hmm. Another message of release, of release. And such an interesting illustration too. It's just to, you know, how can we release? We can release by talking to someone. We can release by maybe exercising it out, uh, meditating, journaling. But if there's something that is within you that you feel may be blocking, or it's just something that you want to share, because that's also a release is to share then find a way to do so. But to hold in or to repress our feelings, our emotions, well, same thing. Uh, you know, <laughs> if we hold back who we are, then it's just, uh, it's just not very liberating, is it? So release, you know, if you're angry, if you feel like you're having a lousy day and you're angry, then go home and let it fly if you can. Say what you're going to say, get it off your chest and, you know, make a pretend ball and, and throw that ball and release it. So this is what I have for you for the day. And gosh, I hope that you found something helpful. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment and come back tomorrow for another reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.